In this episode, we are looking at women's mental health. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done in this area to help women be better equipped and more comfortable talking and dealing with the issues that can arise. Let's start with perimenopause and menopause. There's still a lot of stigma around this. Women have been conditioned since they were little girls to stop aging at all costs. Magazine, TV, film, society are all telling us not to age. I'm not taking a shot on any one industry, but that's the message we get. Just stay young. Young is beautiful. Dye your hair and use anti-aging cream. So a lot of women do not even talk about perimenopause or menopause because that means accepting the reality that we are going to age and what you resist persists. Unfortunately, this is not going away. And in fact, it's going to get even stronger. So stigma around mental health and stigma around women's mental health, in particular around perimenopause and menopause, is going to impact women of all ages. Again, it comes back to one of the main themes of this series, enacting a proactive approach to mental health in order to deal with issues before they become a crisis. Build the resilience you need before an adverse event happens. Perimenopause and menopause will look different to different women and affect them differently. The more information you have, the better it is, and then you can decide how you want to navigate your own perimenopause and menopause journey. But without that information, you're flying blind. Speak to a psychotherapist who specializes in the area of women's health. Not all psychotherapists will have an interest in this area, and there are intricacies involved when managing perimenopause and menopause. For instance, there may be a need to discuss HRT treatment or take a more holistic approach like using acupuncture or homeopathy. Whatever it may be, my advice is to talk to a psychotherapist that specializes in the area of women's health. A lot of these issues are not taught in the core therapist training, so I suggest seeking out someone who has the experience, passion and knowledge needed to help you. When it comes to perimenopause and menopause, I believe that mental health difficulties are a natural part of what you experience. Don't think that it's a rarity if they do occur. Take it as a given that it's going to come knocking on your door. So be prepared for it. And if it doesn't arrive, brilliant. But at least if it does arrive, you'll be prepared for it. A lot of women experience panic attacks and increased anxiety as a common symptom of perimenopause and menopause as estrogen levels influence cortisol levels, your stress hormone. So that's only natural that you will feel stressed and anxious. But knowing that this is part of the natural process can help you feel calmer and more in control. All these can be helped and navigated by talking to the right person and having a team of specialists in your corner. So that brings us to the end of our series on mental health. I hope you have found the episodes interesting and a good resource for you on your own mental health wellness journey. Remember, help is out there. However, it is important to take the time to find the help that is right for you. And make sure don't leave things until you're in crisis. Be proactive and take charge of your mental health. Thanks for watching.